Have you ever wondered what Paragraph Styles was all about? Well, let's find out. First thing I want to do is with my type tool, I'm going to draw a text box or also called a text frame and match those margins. Paste any sort of body of text. It came in as Minion Pro. Let's immediately change that font. I don't want to use Minion Pro. I never want to use Minion Pro. Go right over to Paragraph Styles, double click Basic Paragraph, and it'll open up this window. I like to immediately go down to Basic Character Formats. Let's go ahead and change that to Song TTC. I always like my preview checked. I also want to increase the font. It's at 12. I'm going to increase it to 14. And maybe I want a little more line spacing, which is my leading. I'll take that up to 18. That's all I want to do for now. I'll click OK. But what if I want my headers to be something different? I have three headers. There's one here, here, and here. Take a look at the type show hidden characters. I made sure this was a nice clean text with very clear paragraph breaks and nothing extra. Then I like to turn it back off. I'll go ahead and hide those. Let's create our header paragraph style. Um, I will just put my cursor at, at the top and just anywhere within the header. You don't have to highlight it. It's going to recognize this as a paragraph. So let's go to our create new style. It comes in as paragraph style one. If you double click, you get to open that window. We name that header. Then go to basic character formats. We so let's change that to impact and let's take the font size up to maybe 20. You can see it getting bigger. That's all I want to do for now. So then I'll click OK. Now it's so easy to apply that header style. All I need to do is click anywhere within the next header and then go select header. Click again and select header. With the entire box selected, that is important. You find that hyphenate feature in the paragraph palette. So I'll switch over to that and it lives way here at the bottom. Mine's checked, I will uncheck it. So there we have it. Now you have some good information on how to start using paragraph styles.